Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the next three episodes of DC Universe's Young Justice, which is episodes 4, 5, and 6 that just dropped yesterday on the 11th. So I will say overall I thought these three episodes were not as, as action-packed maybe as the first three, but they're still pretty good. It's just good to have the series back. The first episode pretty much goes over... Um, it's, it's kind of a filler episode, I think. It's, it's gonna go with the Harper clones. Apparently there's three of them now, which I only knew of two before, but maybe I glossed over that. It's kind of dealing with them and a security company. It's kind of a funny story. And then the B-plot to it is, uh, Zatanna getting to meet up with Dr. Fate, which is apparently her father. Again, must have missed this one. But that episode as a whole, pretty good. It was, there was one thing I noticed, and that was to me that the animation quality looked a little rougher, maybe not as detailed. I don't know. I, I saw it. I think they relied a little bit too much on the CGI in a couple of scenes. It was really noticeable towards the end when there was the kind of the car chase with the three trucks with the... Uh, the VR goggles in them that had been stolen. Now, again, though, I did really like some of the episode. It, you know, I liked the whole uh, security company that apparently Will uh, Will Harper, as he's now calling himself, has come up with uh, the bow hunter security or something like that. I, I thought that was a funny storyline. Uh, one part that really made me laugh was just the fact that they were they were jumping on top of trucks that were probably going 40, 50 miles an hour, and Will is clutching this. Uh, oh, it's a it's a like a clipboard, and uh, you know he he even drops it at one point. It never moves. It's on top of a truck going down the highway. It never moves, and he he and uh, Dick Grayson they're apparently just walking around on top of it. But, you know, no superpowers, but apparently this works. Now the the B plot in this with Zatanna and her her father, which is you know the current uh, host of Doctor Fate. You know she gets like an hour with him apparently every year. And which I, I didn't know any of this beforehand. And uh, Artemis goes and she brings Halo with her, I guess, just to kind of, you know, soften her up. Maybe, I, you know, something like that. Overall, that's really the gist of the episode. It, it was good. But like I said, the animation was a little rough at times. But, you know, the comedy of the security team uh balanced out pretty well with the dramatic side of the episode with Zatanna. Now episode 5 was probably my least favorite of the bunch. It, Although I will say the animation looked a little bit better in this one. Now it's more of a the, the A plot of that it has to deal with the new gods which I really wasn't that familiar with. I've heard of them but I don't I never really read that comic so didn't know a whole lot about them. Um, part of the Young Justice team, kind of the B group, I guess. You know, the younger ones, they take off with Miss Martian to off to this planet to kind of help out uh, this kind of maybe a little war that's going on over there that is involving the new gods. And, you know, I gotta say, this is really, I guess, kind of shallow of me, but I'm kind of missing Miss Martian's season one look. I wasn't as crazy about season two, but now that she's went full on white Martian with the bald head and everything, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing that. But anyways, so like I said, with the, the A plot is this storyline that's going on. They end up bringing home a new, uh, I guess a new member who's going to be on Young Justice. His name is Forager. He's some kind of alien. Eh, he's okay. And the other part of this one was Miss Martian apparently has a brother and he is masquerading as one of the new gods, causing all kinds of trouble. I didn't even know she had a brother, but that part's going on. Now, the B plot of this is more about uh, the core team and they're trying to figure out what to do with uh, Geoforce and Halo and they're trying to train them with their powers and stuff like that. There's not a whole lot going on with that storyline. It's just a few little scenes here and there with them trying to do that. So like I said, the the thir the episode 5, my least favorite, one as great as the rest of them. 
So now let's get into episode 6, which was by far my favorite. At this point of watching them, I wasn't expecting the 6th episode to be that good, but it, it really had a lot of information. One of the biggest deals to me in this one was that apparently within the, the hiatus between the last season and this season, Barbara Gordon has now become Oracle because I'm going to assume that the events of The Killing Joke has happened. She's now in a wheelchair, she's taken on the name of Oracle, and she's also in a relationship with Dick Grayson. The two of them, I, they may be living together at some point, or at least they're sharing the same space, and she's assisting him. I'm surprised that they actually went with this storyline uh, for a lot of reasons, I guess. But one was that Barbara Gordon as Batgirl was a big part of season two. And, you know, she hadn't been shown so far, so I didn't really think much about it. But apparently, you know, she is now in a wheelchair. She's now turned into Oracle. She's now in a relationship with Dick Grayson, which... I mean, I've heard about them in the comics as far as on screen. I haven't really seen them together, but it kind of works for me. So from that reveal, we go into the main storyline, which is dealing with Geoforce and Halo and Forager. And Geoforce is desperate to find his sister. He knows she's out there somewhere, but the rest of Young Justice isn't really willing to help him at this point. So he decides to kind of do it on his own and the quote-unquote outsiders team kind of sneaks off. They go to a to an island which is called Infinity Island which is apparently where the League of Shadows is from and we get into where they're meeting Raj al Ghul which you know he was in the past season as, mem as a member of the Light but now he, uh, he's in this season you know kind of doing his own thing on this island. They also find out in this episode that Halo's real name is Gabrielle Dowd, uh, even though Halo herself at the end of it just says that she has no idea what they're talking about. She does remember some stuff, but she is trying to hide it. So Halo, Geoforce, and Forager all get themselves uh, captured by Raja Ghul, and after that, the core group of Young Justice flies out there to save them after they figured out that they have, you know, hijacked the bike thing the the bike ship of superboys and they go to save him so they show up on the island a fight happens with Raja Ghul and then we find out some really interesting stuff one of them is that Talia Al Gould is in this and she walks out after the battle's over with and everyone's gone and she is holding a baby which is going to eventually be Damian Wayne who is the current Robin in the comics and after that, there is a reveal that one of Raja Ghul's men, who you don't really see his face, is actually Jason Todd. So all of that has happened. It hasn't been mentioned in Young Justice yet, but that storyline is going on. So I'm really curious where they go with that. And so after that reveal, they go back to the whole team is flying home. And I guess at that point, they really decide to, you know, reband together and Dick is now leading Young Justice yet again. And that was the end of that one. So like I said, all out of the three episodes, the sixth one was definitely my favorite. The animation was better. The storyline was really good. And of course, all that those little reveals, you know, Jason Todd's alive. Damian Wayne is in, the, is in this continuity. And like I said, the thing about Halo, she does remember a little bit about herself now, but she's not telling them anything. So anyways, I am looking forward to next week's episodes, uh, the next three, and then I think after that there's just one more week and then it goes on hiatus. So anyways, if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying to do daily content all this week. I've got a lot of stuff coming up this week as far as to review, so you know I'm going to try to be here. So like I said, stay tuned. Thanks.